My name's Dr. Ward, so um, you're booked in with me today. And um, Magda said that she knows you, which is lovely. Um, so she told me a little bit about you, but why don't you tell me what's brought you here? Morning. Morning. Hi. So I'm wearing them. You're wearing the shoes. Yes, film me. Do you know? I thought you said fill them. No. I really. Well, <laughs> so yeah. most people said they thought they were great shoes. Yeah. And it's how you style them, I think. It's not really getting you fully in. Should I come over here with yeah. some light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Give us a give us a leg raise. Give us a high kick. People, I've been walking <laughs> through Soho. And people have said, are they really heavy? They're not. Be honest, oh, George. I really, so I saw them on the film. Yeah. And I, was, I thought they would make your feet look really big, but they actually are really, they're nice and thin. They're neat. They look really good. Aren't they? They're yeah. very neat. But do you know what happened? What? So I usually wear sil silk ankle socks. Which and my cleaners sucked out. them all up in the hoover. So all my socks are in a bin. How are you going to cope? She emptied the hoover. All of, all of them? All my silk socks. She hoovered <laughs> underneath my rack and the socks were there they've gone up the hoover so i'm just wearing bog standard bog anyway. standard they look like little little army shoes army <laughs> Can you just being army, wanted please? to see your reaction um anyway all right it's monday how are yes. you george i'm good i'm getting ready and uh yeah I said really, I don't really have much to say. Good to weekend? Honest. Yeah, good weekend. Working on Gabby's show? No, I had a weekend off. Oh, did you? Yeah, my first weekend off. Doing so, what? Um, just oh, here comes Stephen. Prepping Gabby's show. Prepping. <laughs> and here's Stephen. <laughs> Stephen doesn't like to be on camera because his children. Oh, no. now. Now, these. this back. is the Lisa here, Snowden. Come on, boy. This is here, the boy. Lisa I've Snowden biscuit. When Stephen and I worked on Saturday breakfast, he would feed me one of these. I've got a chalky drop for you. Oh, a chalky drop. Not the Lisa Snowden. Like oh my to. God. So this is what keeps me going. It's your good boy chalky drop. It's a, what is Good it? girl cho chalky and drop. And they're called Benito or something, aren't they? Well, let, let's not worry about the brand this name. This is why people are subscribing. So, yes. <laughs> anyway, look, we've this, got this important is, things to do. We have. This is my team. You'll know Stephen, you know George, and yes, I've got them you all week, which is fantastic. Right, I better sit down and get on with it, hadn't I? Oh, oh what a jo oh look, you you <laughs> tricky, tricky thing. <laughs> now you felt rather left out. I did feel left out. Yes. Why? Um, I don't know, Joe. It's because I, I love your vlog, and um, I just want to do a little ballet routine with you. We could do like a, a grand jeté. She, she was very, very upset. She was very upset that Billy Reeves was on the vlog, and this is the wonderful Fiona McKinnon. Hello. And she, like me, comes from an acting background. Little ballet background. Hey, this light is great for us here. <laughs> this is really good light for vlogging. And um, yes, she will often do a pirouette up yeah. and down the. Uh, corridor yeah I do and I always want Joe to join me <laughs> and often I do but anyway we'll let her get back to the travel Thanks so uh, Fiona don't forget to watch this 11 o'clock on Sunday do. thank you Fiona McKinnon the very very <laughs> famous Fiona I'm McKinnon and maybe next week <laughs> Lou Piper they're queuing up now they're Hello. queuing up you see I create monsters oh my god so you know how much I hate travelling east. I've travelled east, I'm in Shoreditch, I'm at Shoreditch House. Gosh, it's light. I've come straight from work on what seems to be the end of the world. The tubes aren't working. Loads of you who watch me say, I miss London, I love London, I love seeing you scurry around London. It has been a nightmare to get here. So I'm here at Shoreditch House, which is part of the Soho House chain. Um, because a friend of mine who used to be my producer when I did the breakfast show with Jono has now written a book. She's an author and its launch is tonight at Shoreditch House. Her name is Esther and we used to call her Heaving Bosoms. Gosh, hand dryer. Um, anyway, you can you imagine me calling her Heaving Bosoms now at the BBC? There'd be a tribunal, emails, and God knows what. Anyway, I am, uh, this, so this is part of the whole server house chain. You're not meant to film. This is why I'm in the toilet. This is why you can hear the hand dryer. I'm going to film in there. I'm going to film in the bar. And you can see some of the groovy movers and shakers of this end. She was drying her hair under the, hair dry under the hand dryer.
these are the groovy people. But the thing is, it's all about your ideas and it's all about what the book's about. It's not really about typing errors. I'm not that great at typing, I want to be honest with you. But here's the thing. This is a book of hope because it just goes to show if you don't think you can do something, if you don't think you can stand on a stage, if you don't think you can write a book, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm an author! I'm yeah. actually... Oh my god, it's so good! It's the BBC! <laughs> it's so good! You just arrived! This is the best producer I have ever had. Seriously, because she's so not BBC. And I remember Esther once did a whole show on ponchos. She went, we've got nothing in the running order. So let's just talk about ponchos. And it was an outside broadcast. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I just think this is the book, everybody. Just tell everyone what the book's about. It's called Goodbye Glossophobia and it's about the fear of public speaking. And it's got tips about everything. If you're scared of public speaking and you might shake or go red, there's a tip for you. Are your children here? They're not allowed in Shawnee House, darling. Odd six. <laughs> I've lived through every one of her pregnancies. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I've seen Adam. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go and say hello to Adam. Okay. And I'll on. chat to you later. Oh boy. So, it's going to take me hours to get home. I really wanted to come and support Esther because she was one of the first producers I ever had at BBC Radio London. And, um, I really wanted to support her, but it has taken me hours to get over to the east side of London because look at all these people. None of the tubes are working, so the buses are crazy. Um, and also, I'm never at home east. It reminds me so much of Brooklyn, um, which I loved actually, but I just, I'm older now, and look at this, they, they never stop building. And I'm going to get on a sweaty 205 um, and head back to the safety of Marylebone. <laughs> it's pathetic. And I'm going to walk Matilda. Poor Matilda. I raced home, fed her a bowl of tripe, and then uh, raced out. So it'd be nice for her to actually go out for a nice evening stroll. Because it's a lovely night. So I will collect her. It's about, I don't know, it's about nine o'clock. And, um, sorry, I'll collect her and uh, take her out for a walk. I've no idea where I get a 205 from. I hate it when I don't know my way around. I know, honestly, I know north, south, west, and I'm rubbish at east. Matilda will only pee by certain trees. Come on, Tilde. I'm going to Waitrose because, um, I have literally nothing in my fridge. And it's about half past nine and they close at 10. Fishmonger's still open. Great place for takeaway fish and chips. That's where I get my very famous fish cakes. And a waitress still open, hope so. I just love it. It's so much more genteel in Marylebone. Shoreditch was crazy. And it, it just makes me realize how many people are living in London? You know, grand, grand we are. But I just, I don't know, I feel like there's a bit more space here. So, um, I tie Matilda up outside Waitrose. Now, before all of you moan, there are always cabbies, look. All the cabbies wait, and they all know me, and they all know Matilda, and so, She's quite safe, so do not panic. Should we go home? Should we go home? Good morning. It is a rotten day out 
and I am heading for an appointment, a consultation that I know many of you would criticise me for. Don't criticise me because I'm not committing myself to anything. But one of the things I've learned since vlogging is I film a lot of close-ups of my face, so you analyse yourself all the time. Uh, gosh, it's an alarm going off, never mind. Um, and I, I, I don't want... I kept talking about a facelift, I'm not going to have a facelift, but I was wondering if there was something I could do, don't scream, that would just sort of help this bit. This is the bit I don't like. Um, but I don't want to trout pout, and I don't want to look a, like a blow-up doll. So I'm going to a woman they call the Lip Woman, who is Tracy Mountford. She's around the corner from where I actually live. She's been recommended by a lot of people I know, and you can't often get to see her, but she's going to meet me and just chat about what the options are. Please don't go crazy. I'm not going to do anything without thinking it through. I just want to know, I mean, she may say, look, you know, it's gone beyond that. You'll look ridiculous um, with a face like this and a big trout pout. So I'm just going to find out. I cannot film the whole consultation. I've asked if I can film in the surgery and they said, you can film, I can film my arrival, but obviously there are clients there who don't want me brandishing a camera around um, but I can film probably a little bit with Tracy and a bit in the surgery so don't moan as I say I may not have any of it right here we go hello it's Jen Good hi who knew that these clinics were so big? This is, runs right under Harley Street, round the corner from where I live. Hi, girls. Hello. My name's Dr. Ward, so um, you're booked in with me today. And Magda said that she knows you, which is lovely. Um, so she told me a little bit about you, but why don't you Tell me what's brought you here. I mean, I'll, I will have a good look through your form and then you can, um, you know, we can discuss any concerns that you have and maybe formulate a plan and, yeah. and, and have a dialogue, basically. Um, so, I, it's so interesting reading your form because it says, are you unhappy with the way you look? And I... Fernage is a treatment that you can do over the full face and neck. It's a heat based treatment to tighten and um, make the skin healthier and to increase the collagen bank. There's no real downtime, you look a little bit red after the treatment, but it's very straightforward. So, I have booked an appointment for two weeks, um, in two weeks time. I'm not having fillers, I'm not having my lips done, I'm literally having heat on my face and my neck, which hopefully will produce some collagen if there's any left. Um, and I will probably film it so you get to see it if you want to. Some of you probably think, what a waste of money. It is really expensive and I am paying for it. I don't get sponsored or collaborated or anything. So, um, yeah, it is quite expensive. So let's hope it works. Can I thank all of you who have subscribed? Um, don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe box. Then you know when I post. But I post every Sunday at 11 and I answer every single comment. I'll be interested to know what your comments are about this. Here are this week's walkers. Every time you send them in, often I'm on air when these arrive in my email. They make me laugh so much. So please keep sending them in. Have a great week and I'll catch up with you next Sunday at 11. Bye. I'm walking, hear the knee and I'm talking, find you and me.